Hello everyone, welcome to Hydropower. Today, in this lecture we will talk about the penstocks and pressure shaft, their importance, conditions of their application, general arrangement, hydraulic transients, computation of hydrodynamic pressure. Sizing of penstock pressure shaft and estimation of thickness of steel in penstock pressure shaft. So, let's start with the penstocks and pressure shafts in hydropower plants penstocks. Penstocks are large pipes or conduits, typically made of steel, used to convey water from a reservoir or forbay to the turbines in a hydropower plant. They play a crucial role in directing and regulating the flow of water to generate electricity. Penstocks can vary in size and length depending on the project specifications. Pressure shafts. Pressure shafts are vertical or inclined conduits that connect the penstock to the turbines or other hydraulic machinery in the powerhouse of a hydropower plant. They are used to maintain the required head for efficient turbine operation. Pressure shafts are an integral part of the penstock system and are designed to handle high water pressures. Importance of penstocks and pressure shafts flow regulation penstocks ensure consistent and controlled flow rate of water, optimizing power generation. Pressure maintenance. Pressure shafts maintain necessary head for efficient turbine operation, converting potential energy into mechanical energy. Energy conversion penstocks and pressure shafts play a critical role in converting hydraulic energy into electrical energy. System efficiency. Properly designed penstocks and pressure shafts minimize energy losses during water transport, enhancing overall plant efficiency. Conditions of application. The application of penstocks and pressure shafts depends on various factors, including Hydraulic conditions Flow rate, pressure requirements, and site's hydraulic conditions influence choice and design of penstocks and pressure shafts. Head height Significant head heights often require pressure shafts to maintain required water pressure. Flow variability well-designed penstock systems are essential for regulating flow in case of irregular or rapid changes in flow rate. Project size. Larger hydropower plants necessitate extensive and complex penstock and pressure shaft systems due to higher flow rates and pressure requirements. General arrangement of penstocks and pressure shafts. The general arrangement of penstocks and pressure shafts in hydropower plants is a critical aspect of the plant's design, ensuring efficient water transport and energy conversion. Here's a detailed clarification along with relevant formulas and calculations, penstocks. Location and orientation. Penstocks are typically positioned upstream of the powerhouse and can be oriented horizontally, inclined, or vertically, depending on the site's topography. Inclined or vertical penstocks are commonly used for high head installations. Material selection. Penstocks are constructed using materials like steel, which offer the necessary strength and durability to withstand high pressures and resist corrosion. Entry structures. At the upstream end, penstocks are equipped with entry structures, including intake gates, screens, or trash racks. These structures prevent debris from entering and control the flow of water. The cross-sectional area of the entry structure can be calculated based on its dimensions. Supports. Penstocks are supported by concrete foundations or piers, especially in areas with varying terrain. To ensure structural stability, calculate the load-bearing capacity required for the supports using appropriate engineering formulas. Root and length. The route of the penstock can involve underground tunnels or elevated trestles, depending on the terrain. The length of the penstock is determined based on the distance between the water source and the powerhouse. Valves, control valves, such as butterfly or gate valves, are strategically placed along the penstock's route to regulate the flow of water. The valve sizing depends on the desired flow rate and pressure and can be determined using valve flow coefficient calculations formula as shown, where Q equals flow rate CV equals valve flow coefficient delta P equals pressure drop across the valve pressure shafts. Location and orientation. Pressure shafts are situated within or adjacent to the powerhouse and can be vertical or inclined. High head projects often use vertical pressure shafts. Material selection. 
Pressure shafts, like penstocks, are constructed from steel or other suitable materials to withstand high pressures. Entry to turbines. The lower end of the pressure shaft connects to the turbines and is designed to efficiently transfer the water's energy to the turbines. Control valves. Control valves within the pressure shaft regulate water flow and pressure to optimize turbine performance. Valve sizing calculations, as mentioned above, are applied here as well. Ventilation and air admission. Pressure shafts incorporate ventilation systems and air admission arrangements to manage air pockets and prevent cavitation during pressure changes. The design includes suitable venting openings and air admission valves. Pressure sensors. Pressure sensors are strategically placed within the pressure shaft to continuously monitor pressure conditions. These sensors ensure safe and efficient operation. Transition from penstock. At the upper end, the pressure shaft connects to the penstock through a bifurcation chamber, ensuring a smooth transition of water flow. Structural reinforcement. Due to the high pressures experienced within pressure shafts, structural reinforcement may be incorporated, such as concrete lining or thick-walled steel construction. The general arrangement and design of penstocks and pressure shafts are tailored to the specific characteristics of each hydropower project, including head height, flow rate, topography, and space constraints. Detailed engineering calculations and simulations are conducted to ensure the optimal sizing, placement, and structural integrity of these components for efficient and reliable power generation. Hydraulic transients in penstock pressure shaft. Hydraulic transients, commonly known as water hammer, are sudden pressure surges or shocks that occur in penstocks and pressure shafts due to changes in flow velocity or valve operations. These transient pressure fluctuations can be damaging to the system and must be carefully managed. Here's a clarification along with necessary formulas and calculations, causes of water hammer. Valve closure. When a valve in the penstock or pressure shaft is rapidly closed, it can abruptly stop the flow of water, leading to a pressure surge. Flow changes. Rapid changes in flow rate, such as sudden starting or stopping of turbines, can also trigger water hammer. Calculation of water hammer pressure. The pressure surge caused by water hammer can be calculated using the following formula as shown below. Delta P equals rho asterisk operator delta V asterisk operator C. Delta P equals pressure surge. Rho equals density of water delta V equals change in flow velocity C equals speed of sound in water calculation of change in flow velocity. The change in flow velocity can be calculated using the following formula. Delta V equals delta Q A. Delta V equals change in flow velocity. Delta Q equals change in flow rate A equals cross-sectional area of the penstock pressure shaft calculation of change in flow rate. The change in flow rate can be determined based on the valve closure time and the cross-sectional area of the penstock pressure shaft. Delta Q equals a asterisk operator delta V. Delta Q equals change in flow rate A equals cross-sectional area of the penstock pressure shaft delta V equals change in flow velocity mitigation of water hammer. To mitigate water hammer, several measures can be taken. Slow valve closure. Instead of rapidly closing valves, control systems can be implemented to gradually reduce flow velocity, reducing the likelihood of water hammer. Air chambers. Air chambers are surge tanks can be installed in the system to absorb pressure surges by compressing and expanding air cushions. Surge relief valves. Surge relief valves can be used to release excess pressure during water hammer events, protecting the system from damage. Proper valve sizing. Properly sizing control valves and selecting appropriate valve closure times can help prevent extreme flow rate changes. Design considerations. Engineers must consider the system's geometry, flow rates, and operating conditions during the design phase to minimize the risk of water hammer. Computation of hydrodynamic pressure in penstock pressure shaft. The computation of hydrodynamic pressure in penstocks and pressure shafts is essential to understand the forces acting on the internal surfaces of these conduits due to flowing water.
This calculation helps in designing the structure to withstand these pressures. Here's a clarification along with necessary formulas and calculations. Hydrodynamic pressure formula. The hydrodynamic pressure in a penstock or pressure shaft can be calculated using Bernoulli's equation as shown, which relates the pressure, velocity, and elevation of the fluid, where P equals hydrodynamic pressure P1 equals initial pressure at a reference point. Rho equals density of water V1 equals velocity of water at the reference point V2 equals velocity of water at the location of interest G equals acceleration due to gravity H1 equals elevation at the reference point H2 equals elevation at the location of interest. Precise calculations of hydrodynamic pressure are crucial for designing robust and safe penstock and pressure shaft systems in hydropower plants. Consulting with experienced hydraulic and structural engineers is essential to ensure accurate calculations and proper design. Sizing of penstock pressure shaft and estimation of steel thickness. Sizing of penstocks and pressure shafts involves determining appropriate dimensions and capacity requirements. Estimation of steel thickness is important in designing the structure to withstand internal pressures. Sizing of penstock pressure shaft. 1. Determining flow rate. Begin by determining the required flow rate of water for the hydropower plant. This is often based on the desired power output and the available head height. 2. Velocity limitation. Determine the maximum permissible flow velocity within the penstock or pressure shaft. This limitation is often based on hydraulic considerations to prevent excessive friction losses and cavitation. The formula for flow velocity is, V equals Q A where, V equals flow velocity Q equals flow rate A equals cross-sectional area of the conduit 3. Cross-sectional area. The cross-sectional area of the penstock or pressure shaft is calculated based on the desired flow rate and the maximum allowable velocity. Rearrange the formula above to solve for A, A equals Q V4. Diameter or dimensions. Based on the calculated cross-sectional area, determine the diameter or dimensions of the penstock or pressure shaft, considering the shape and hydraulic constraints. Estimation of steel thickness. Once the sizing is determined, the estimation of steel thickness is essential to ensure that the conduit can withstand the internal pressure generated by flowing water. The formula for estimating the required thickness of steel in a cylindrical pressure vessel is calculated by the formula as shown below. Where T equals required thickness of steel P equals internal pressure D equals inside diameter of the conduit S equals allowable stress of the steel E equals weld joint efficiency. Considerations The considerations for the estimation of steel thickness are safety factor, material properties welding efficiency, code compliance and local conditions. Proper engineering analysis and simulations are often performed to ensure that the penstock or pressure shaft is adequately sized and that the steel thickness meets safety and regulatory requirements. These calculations and considerations are crucial for designing robust and reliable hydraulic conduits in hydropower plants. Consulting with experienced hydraulic and structural engineers is essential for accurate sizing and thickness estimation. So this much for today. We will come again with new video, till then keep on watching our videos. Thank you.